Excellent. Very glad that I checked. Everything looks like it is hunky-dory, and we are live! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim, and it is Saturday night, so you know what that means. Well, besides the fact that just a few minutes ago, we unboxed the, uh, unboxed the October Horror Loot Crate. It was pretty great. I actually, I, I really like this shirt a lot. Not only is it super comfortable, but even I, as not a fan of the show, know it's pretty goddamn hilarious. So, um, yeah. Kind of like this one a lot. Anyway, we're here with more Hyrule Warriors, and uh, as per request, we're going to keep going with the Sia storyline. Last time we were here, we unlocked a new chapter in Skyloft, where Sia is going to try and overtake the world of Skyward Sword. Let's do this fucking thing. So, shall we take Booby Pants McPlotface, or maybe Volga, maybe... Mm Wizro still has that elemental advantage, but it really wants us to use Sia. And you know what? I think I see a way to victory. So let's go ahead and do this thing, shall we? Her scepter is uh, uh surprisingly effective. I gotta admit, surprisingly effective. Until I'm able to unlock its second and third levels, in which case it'll be absolutely devastating. When she arrived there, so we shall see. But anyway, so here's some more plot set up. We see that Sia. Uh, decided to advance on the world of Skyloft and, well, found that things were already well in hand. Many thought that the end of the world was at hand. And then we just decided to go through and ruin their day. Just ruin the day. And Fee, the living embodiment of the sword, decided to try and stop us. would soon overtake Skyloft. Though Sia cared nothing for the fate of the villagers. And it looks like we may have another special friend to help us out as well. Whatever for those who have had the unfortunate, um, would make a powerful well, servant. unfortunate she would foresight to have played through Skyloft, or through Skyward Sword. You're probably well aware of who that is. Sia looked for an opportunity it's probably one of the worst villains power. in most of Legend and of Zelda, I think. Forces. Like, if, if Skyward Sword is probably the most universally hated edition of Legend of Zelda, then this he this villain is probably the most universally hated villain in all of Legend of Zelda. But, you know what? They seem to have get gotten more flamboyant in the later years of Legend of Zelda. Look at A Link Between Worlds, for Christ's sakes. Yuga is absolutely off the walls. He has a face full of makeup, huge flowing cape, and you know what? A lot more flagrant flagrantness for the artistic than, than villainy should normally allow. But I guess, I guess Hitler was a painter, so you know what? Even the worst have their best qualities, right? <laughs> okay, so as we can see here, Volga and Wizro are kind of going to need a little bit of help along the way. But our first mission is to go ahead and take these keeps. So let's, let's start our help by cutting them off at the forward pass, shall we? You know what? As much as I love that, that area of effect damage that comes from the huge traps it's just not the same as an ability that hits everywhere like this one that summons all the dark links go dark links <laughs> do my evil bidding <laughs> and then of course the positional links oh keep boss where are you at keep boss i was sitting there smashing away at the goblins uh moblin excuse me and totally forgetting that they are in fact my my creatures this time around. Uh, you know what? I don't think it's gonna actually unlock that second keep from the bottom, is it? No, it's not. So I'm not gonna be able to get to it from here. Well, that is most unfortunate. I kind of feel bad about leaving a keep untaken. You know what I mean? No. Oh, well. In the meantime, Dark Links, go! That is a lot of Dark Links. And maybe some more Dark Links. Dark Link has always been one of my favorite characters in Legend of Zelda because I, I I love the mirror match concept. I think both Castlevania and uh, Legend of Zelda, well, I guess Ocarina of Time would have been the one that did it best slash did it at all. Because um, I think, wait, wasn't Ocarina of Time the first time that they introduced Dark Link or was it... <laughs> Was it uh, uh, Zelda 2? What was that one? Link's Awakening, maybe? Ooh! Hello, Girahim! So this is the gentleman that I was speaking of just a few minutes ago. 
the one that people hate the most. Uh, but he actually has some really great abilities in this game. And, and can be devastating when you're using him properly, you know? So, I actually kind of like him in this game, even though he is a total ponce, prancing around everywhere. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I thought it was Zelda 2 that kind of first introduced him, but then he doesn't really make another huge appearance again until Ocarina of Time, where I think they kind of did him the best, question mark? As well as you can do kind of a mirror move there. But I, I love that concept. And I think very few games are capable of pulling it off well. You know what I mean? Well, Hirohim was going to try and go for my base. And then guess what? He fucking died. <laughs> bye bye my friend. And that frees us up to be able to pursue the imprisoned in the center of the map. Now, that Imprisoned is going to be a bitch. That's an enemy that we haven't faced yet. It's one of the other big bosses. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think it might have come up in the Ganon Rush battle. Like, once. Barely ever once. It kind of makes me curious whether it does come up in that Ganon Rush mode in its full form to uh, where you can steal a power from it because honestly I don't know what kind of power you would get from this thing as you'll see it really does nothing but just stomp and, and, and ruin days but yeah getting back to what I was saying about Dark Link I think that the reason why Ocarina of Time did it better than, than most other memories can recall is because just the combat system was mo so much more fleshed out for that game already that it really felt like <clears throat> taking on Dark Link was a huge challenge, you know? You had the one person in the game who could actually fight like you fight, and well, in that game, you can fight pretty well if you if you kind of figure out all of the ways that the Z-targeting can let you move, and all the ways that regular movement can let you move, and how to slash versus how to stab, and, and yada, 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 yada. And the best part about Dark Link was he had a personality of his own. He knew that he was as good as you. He jumped on your sword to taunt and tease you. You know, Dark Link felt like the first time you had a personal adversary. Oh my god, there he is. Hello, Twinkle Toes. Look at him. Isn't he freaking beautiful? I actually don't know what he is in Skyward Sword. Is he in... I assume he's in Skyward Sword. He's in these fucking levels. But basically, I have to sit here and, and, and destroy his toe tumors uh, until he's not able to stand up anymore. Because as you know, if you cut off all your toes, it becomes very difficult to stand up straight. And then his little armor break thing comes up. We can destroy him. Da -da 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 -da. Bring on the power and also the pain from inside. Sweet. So how much of that gauge did it break? I don't know. I'll find out once he stands back up. And regrows his tootsies for me to poop on. Oh God, stop it. Stop it with your red uh, smelly blobbies of, of doom. Oh, I see that now his stomps have uh, a little bit of red electricity along with them. That makes them extra deadly. Ganon's ancestor demise. Okay, interesting. Well, let's break him free from his prison and put him in another one. A pain, a prison of pain. Let's go. Excellent. And that gives us just enough time to be able to pull off the big armor break move for a ton of damage. My God, that's what I'm talking about there. And you can see we've actually already decimated the map pretty hard. I'm wondering if this is it. Like if this is the final purpose of this mission. Because if it is, we can go ahead and finish it off right now. Oh, he may not have been in range. Damn it, he wasn't in range. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why am I fighting with Fee? Why am I fighting on the good side? I don't know. I don't care. Maybe Fee turned over to the dark side after she found out how terrible the game it is. She's like, you know what? All those fucks on the internet just need to die now. And freak out. Mission successful. Excellent. So it looks like that was, in fact, the end of the mission. Wait a minute. No, it wasn't. That was just the end of that mission. 
to defeat the Imprisoned. But Girahim has returned to the battlefield and he's probably gonna go straight for a Volga and or Wish Rope. Ooh, never mind. He allied with me instead. Nifty? So, do I have to take out all the yellow forces? Who is the yellow forces? Dark forces have become hostile to Skyloft. Excellent. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It's the betrayal you have suddenly been been always expecting. Hello, Fee. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh. That bitch retreated back to her base. It's probably a smart move, dear. You saw your own death coming. <laughs> So I guess now we can go ahead and collect some soldiers items, which actually I really need anyway. Uh, as you know, you kind of tend to use a lot of those materials and recipes, and I'm, I'm, I'm mostly out of good people stuff. Like bad people stuff, you can find everywhere because almost every level lets you kill bad enemies, you know? But very few levels actually focus on being the bad guys and taking down good enemies. So the number of good generals, there's actually few and far between all things considered. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burton? Yeah, you know what I mean. So let's bring them in and blow them out. Oh, wow. That big old tornado is super devastating. Especially as far as keeping the pain going for taking over a heat. Yeah, that's pretty great. Wow, it actually did most of the bar to the keep boss's health. We catch it. The statue keep. Reinforcements have stopped appearing, I assume because I claim one of their territories and we're starting to actually win this fight. Get super fucked. <laughs> Yo, Darkling, do my evil bidding. Wow, did you see that guy just fucking get launched up into the air? <laughs> he got fucked up. It was like Little Mac just getting knocked on his asshole from the side, you know? And more Darkling. When a problem comes around, you just dark link it. I don't care that it didn't even fit. You know what? Who's gonna stop me to tell me that the rhyme scheme doesn't work? And the and the the melody pattern doesn't fit. Fuck you guys. Everyone dies. What do you think this is? Showtime of the Apollo? Where everybody's gonna critique my work? No ma'am, not today. Uh, Excellent. It looks like basically all of the generals decided to come and find my ass. So, um, they made it very easy to take them all out. Oh boy. Did I say all of them? Not quite all of them. There were, in fact, three chubby little cheeksters who decided to come over here and try and take down a keep of their own. Do you want to be a hero today, son? Guess what? To be the hero, you've got to take down the villain. <laughs> And boosh, boosh, boosh. I actually forget about that attack and it's insane martial prowess for taking out a bunch of enemies at once. And it's also a little bit more difficult to pull off than you would think because those first two attacks come off so quickly. Okay, so that keep has been retaken. Fee is open, but I see that the... Uh, Yes, I have heard of Star Citizen. I, you know, uh, space exploration games are one of those that I can only really enjoy when I super get into them. And the only one that I've actually been able to get into was, um, oh gosh, I think it was Elite Dangerous. Is that the name of it? Yeah, yeah, Elite Dangerous. And the only reason why I was able to get into it as much as I was is because I had access to, to an Oculus Rift at the time and I was playing Elite Dangerous on the Oculus Rift and it was fucking life changing. So I just, I feel like until I have that capability again, especially now that I have a video card that can run uh, VR technology, I don't want to unspoil myself. You know, like I, you get used to a certain lifestyle, you know, when you have access to a VR headset and it's just hard to go back. Oh. You know what you do, Queen, but you're not an NPC. You're a thinking human being who is capable of making your own terrible decisions about critiquing my work. So I let it go. 
Okay. <sighs> so that is all of my keeps retaken. Not today, Juniors. I will pick up all... Ooh. It's telling me to go and capture the fairy fountain. I wonder if good things will happen when I go and take the fairy fountain. I want it. I want it very badly. Boop, boop. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody dies today. <laughs> I do so love being the bad guy. All right. So now that we've made it to the Fairy Fountain, it seems as though these uh, um, Skyloft forces that are right below us have decided not to charge at us yet, which is a smart move for them. Oh, boy. Uh, and unfortunately, Wizro is down. For some reason, he decided to just go straight for the enemy base. And apparently, that proved to be a terrible decision. Who would have guessed? Besides anyone with common sense. Oh, wow. Wow. Actually, her, um, well, I guess B BY combo, her, her one-hit combo, actually does really great area damage where she just stomps the earth around her and, and demolishes things. So that's not terrible when you get into a pinch. But, uh, my balls flying into his face hurt a lot worse, baby. <laughs> oh, really quick. Interesting. I wonder why. Yep. Explodey, explodey, explodey. You lovely little trap. Because these Skyloft forces have got to go. They thought they stood a chance, but guess what? They got to go. And even more darkness with my attack. You know what's funny is her, her regular combo finisher is not that bad because that's the thing that actually summons the tornado. Uh, I got a 980 Ti. So it is more than capable of handling any VR stuff. Uh, that's a really good question, Queen. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe my camera is not auto-focusing to my face. Um, it looks like it should be fine on the preview, but who knows. Uh, you know, I would say that get, get one with the intention of getting the other at some point. Because really, they kind of work so closely hand-in-hand -hand that, that my next purchase will probably be a new... CPU because I, I too have an i5 right now and while it's great even with this brand new video card you can see that there are some problems now right that being said right now this stutter that you're getting is actually from the game and not from my computer but the point remains that there are still some games that right now still give me problems you know whether it be because of poor optimization or poor CPU quality uh, especially when it comes to streaming them yeah, at the same time you know um, I would say get one with the other. <laughs> oh, I see, Queen. Uh, you said, but now why is your face all blurry? So I thought you were saying that now that you've gone to high quality, my face was still all blurry. And I was like, I don't... I don't think so. I don't need to censor anything. I know I'm a dickhead, but like not literally. So I don't need to censor anything to not be kicked off Twitch. Right? <laughs> and there we have it, folks. Another mission down. We came to the aid of the people of Skyloft until we figured out whose side we should actually be on. And then decided to destroy the competition. <laughs> I know, Sia. Victory tastes so sweet, doesn't it? Jesus, that outfit. That outfit, man. Like, there is some double stick tape that had to be used in that outfit, okay? Because that, that thing doesn't just stay up on its own. I'm pretty sure that might actually be magical clothing. Ah, I see, Queen. And we got a Holy Hylian shield, some Stallmaster skulls, two sets of Fee's heels, because, well... 
these boots were made for kicking ass, and all of the other good stuff that I was talking about there. Excellent, excellent. Um, when you're going through the bad shop and you need to level up a lot of these villains, they tend to use some of the bad guy stuff, or some of the good guy items, and if you don't have them because you haven't played through a lot of these levels yet, it may be difficult to get some badges for them. Speaking of, I can get some more stinking badges in the form of beetles, which slightly increase the duration of the boomerang power-up. And also, more Lizolfo scales used to make uh, the whip. Excellent. So the hookshot is, hook sh hook shot is powered up. Uh, I still haven't found whatever the item is here that I need for the other bottle. Interesting that there may be some some enemies and some items that I still haven't gotten, you know? And I wonder if the same is true. Nope. In this case, I just need more Link Boots. I need to, to beat the Manhandlers a couple of times. And yeah, get a whole bunch of Link items. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, you know, you know, Kisty, that's not, that's not entirely wrong. Uh, unfortunately, we kind of have her best items for now, or her best weapons for now. I'm wondering... Mm, so we can continue on with her story here. What's funny is it didn't actually give us a third mission here amongst these. It just fleshed these out a little bit. And then we move on to the Valley of Seers, which is actually the next mission <coughs> in the main story. And is in the epilogue chapter before we switch over to being Ganon. So, could this be the epilogue tale for Sia? Hmm. Hey Shoes, welcome. Glad you, could, uh, glad you could join us. I appreciate the follow. You know what? I just realized why I'm not able to hear the alerts for uh, follows and stuff. It's because I, otherwise the music would play out of my speakers from the Wii. And that's also where the notifications will play. So I kind of just have to pray that I see them. And I can't go on the audio cues anymore. Interesting. Uh, but anyways, I was as I was saying, I'm wondering if we shouldn't go into adventure mode and see where we get, in fact, Sia's next weapons. See if we can't go ahead and get her a little bit more powerful before we move on. Um... There's a huge group of them over here. That's Zelda, Link. I think this may be all good guy weapons that are on the regular adventure map. What about Master Quest? The Master Quest map was added in around the same time as the villains. So I'm thinking, yep, yeah, that's Volga. That Sheik gives her a star level weapon. That's also Volga, Zelda, star level weapons for Link and, and, and Zelda. Really? Girahim, Girahim, Fee. Is that Sia? I think that one might be Sia over there. Damn, that is a long way to go to get her power up weapons. But curiously enough, it's not her level. Fuck! Her level 2 weapon is all the way up in the far right corner. And her level 3 weapon is all the way in the far right corner. Because fuck you, that's why. God damn it. God damn it. I mean, the good news is, um. It won't be. It won't be not worth it. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here that we could unlock. Some good costumes. That's costume for Zant, who we haven't even unlocked yet. It's costume for Midna. You know, so it would definitely be worth it to kind of go through here a little bit. And, and possibly get Sia's level 2 weapon. But honestly, I feel like you don't need it to go through the story mode. So... While that is a preview of some th good things to come later, let's go ahead and go on back to uh, the story mode and finish that out, I think. And who knows? It might actually reward us with maybe the level 2 weapon at some point down the line. I doubt it, because otherwise that would kind of null 
the whole quest going forward in the master quest, but you never know. Link and his allies had defeated Wizro, Zant, and Giri. Oh no! Sia was getting distraught over the fact that we were losing Meanwhile, and losing Ganon terribly. Was making his way to the valley of but Ganon was back, and he was looking for our Triforce. Sia this is not good. He's gonna have to rip it from the back of our cold, dead hand. At any cost, she tapped into her very life force to bolster her magic. Sia knew As you can see, the mask comes life. off. But and when the mask comes no off, any <sighs> magic starts to fly. I like, I like her character. You know, I wish that they kind of showed a little bit more uh, cutscene slash story development from her. Because her story actually is really interesting. And you get glimpses of it in the, in the regular story mode. Uh -huh. But it's never really fleshed out as much as one would like. You know, which I get it. I'm asking for plot from in a fucking Dynasty Warriors game, blah, 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 blah. But it's also Legend of Zelda. And adding in that ed extra layer would have just been nice. You know, I'm not asking for the world here. I'm just asking for maybe China. All right, so that is already a couple of bosses down. Don't mind me, just stop through all the classic enemies. Boop. Because, unfortunately, this time we're fighting off Ganon. So he's launching a cavalcade of classic creatures at us. And I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Not a huge fan. Of the Ganon. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. These Gomas are going for bases. And this is not good. Uh, if we can't defeat these key or defend these keeps, then those Gomas end up going straight for our base. And so... Uh, we must become the Bowmaster. Yep. Excellent. Now come with me, Lizolfos, so that we may destroy this guy. Now, damn it. I really wish that I had taken the uh, either, you know, giant boss damage raising ability or the destroys armor uh, break faster ability because as it stands, we're kind of a little bit behind the eight ball on the on the amount we can break it per per hit, you know? And with the Gomas being able to do what they do to bases, I mean, they really fucking hurt. So you kind of want to kill them as quickly as you can. Fortunately, I can't kill them quickly. Okay, and go for it. Please kill it in one hit, please kill it in one hit. That was like the only way that I was actually going to be able to make it over to the other base in time to save it. Otherwise, we would have totally lost a base there. I'm sorry. Those Gomas kill bases just too damn quickly. And and I don't have the level two or three weapon yet. You know, to be able to do the maximum down. Oh, motherfucker! Ganon has summoned a manhandler. I mean, to be fair, totally needed to defeat a manhandler. Like, four, four items and, and shit. So... Thanks, Ganon. But at the same time, fuck me, man. I know you're the ultimate evil, but you're also the ultimate dick. <laughs> Let's see what two specials can do. If I can go ahead and take it on down. Yeah, baby. So that's the trick. We need to go ahead and launch into two combos, use two bars of special, and that Goma dies in one run, baby. Excellent. You thought you was gonna take my base, but all my base belonged to me, motherfucker. <laughs> all right. So the bases are defended, and I guess now we can go ahead and go on down and take down the manhandler, because that manhandler is still launching a seed attack. Hello, baby. Oh boy, I know what I need, and it is the boomerang, orang, orang, orang. Oh god. I just realized that I threw it off to the side instead of at my target. Excellent. I was like, please tell me I can hit all four heads at the same time. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And all the death. The unfortunate thing is we're not really raising up that special bar as fast as I want. Damn. To be able to take it down in one go, but 
I have what? Wizro has betrayed me. You son of a bee. You son of a bee. How dare you betray me? You will die for your oh god. Everything is coming and betraying me. This is not good. Wizro has summoned more monsters. I really need to go ahead and destroy this man Hanla before things get any fucking worse. So, it's time to tap into that old life force, baby, and throw down the heavy magic. Come on, come on, there we go. This man Hanla has been manhandled, or will manhandled in this case, and I guess it's time to go and take out Wizro. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Oh no! Oh dearie me! Oh dearie me! Do you see what I see? I see my base really dying bad and it's going to get fucked up real hard. My base is getting fucked up real hard. And I needed to be able to dodge that. Come on, you motherfucker. Give me something that I can armor break you with. How about that? How about them apples? No! No! Not you too, Volga! No! Oh, Volga has only temporarily retreated. Good. I thought he had actually turned on me too. I was going to be really sad if like every single one of my allies turned on me. That's never a good time for the ultimate evil. I know, Queen. That's why I made that joke. You don't come here for quality comedy. You do, you can't run gunner. Oh boy. And oh no, that's not good. That's that's like ultimate attack. And we got no, stop it! Stop it, you bag of asses! I'm so glad that I don't have to get an A rank here. Otherwise that would be super dick balls. Fuck you! If a problem comes around, you can whip it. Excellent. So let's go ahead and take these down these West Ruins because. I want your shit. And you know, I'm wondering if I shouldn't go up and put a little spanky spank in. Ganondorf has erected a barrier of darkness inside of the enemy base. So that means there's gonna need to be a fairy somewhere around that we can use to deactivate said barrier. We just need to find it. Come here, Icy Poe. Uh, 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 uh. Excellent. Okay, bye, Kisty. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you so much for coming by and helping out for a little bit. Be safe on whatever it is that you need to do. Excellent. We're gonna capture this ruin. Got more items and stuff. And I really should, I really should go save my base. Just to make sure that it doesn't fall. And by that point, I'll be able to focus back on taking out Ganon. Yeah, like I have I have generals in danger and shit. Volga has temporary with temporarily withdrawn. Ganon be able to focus on me again. He just summoned a shit ton more monsters. Uh, this is suddenly feeling very hopeless. Everybody's fleeing. Ganon's riding out. Not gonna lie, he does look very impressive and very, very powerful. But we shall not bend! Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe we can talk. Maybe, can we just talk, Ganon? Is that possible? And music change. Oh God, that foreboding music change though. <laughs> Volga has reappeared, good. Maybe now he can actually be of use. And boosh! Take my big old purple balls right in your face. Damn, I was gonna summon more Dark Links and then I accidentally fat thing the X button. But whatever, everybody dies all the same. Really, in the end, right? Why I suppose? Volga is advancing. Excellent. Volga is advancing from way further back this time, so I might actually have a chance to kind of help him out. Because he's going into very, very dangerous lands. Where is Ganon? Is Ganon still in his fucking house? He should. He better be. 
I really hope he is. If not, this is going to be very bad for for Lola. Because he's already charged into that second key. So I'm thinking he might actually be able to take it back for me. Which means I shouldn't have to. Which would be awesome. Oh, look, I have a Dark Link on my side. Ah, oh, how great would it be if Dark Link was actually a playable character? Or maybe just a skin for Link? I'll bet it is. I'll bet it is inside the Master Quest pack. Like, inside that, inside that Master Quest adventure. I'll bet you can get a Dark Link costume. Which would be awesome to be running through the, the land with. A uh, Dark Link costume with that 8-bit sword. How hysterical would that be? Okay. More Dark Forces down! And I guess now we can proceed on. Oh, no! Volga let the base fall! The base has opened up. And it looks like Ganon is going to attack. This is not good. Lana! Do something! Why is it always my mission to take down the bad guy? Why can't I be the backline support, making sure that the base is safe? No, I've got to go in and do the hard work, like take on the king of all Gerudo. Uh, whatever, whatever. Don't mind me. Never send a hero of time to do a lady's job. Am I right? Am I right, ladies? All right, so this keep has been defended. Escort Lana to the enemy base, and I assume if she makes it there, she'll probably be able to dispel the barrier of darkness. So, let's play the babysitting game with our good friend Lana. Excellent. I actually will take all those weapons. Thank you. You know, there was somebody who said that you actually pick up items automatically at the end of every level. So you don't have to worry about picking them up on the spot. But I'm still not 100% sure, sure that that's true. So I don't want to run the risk of losing, especially like weapons, you know? Boop, boop. Excellent. So I will kind of go out of, out of my way to pick up items and stuff, even still. Until I, until I actually see it. Which I guess I would see it if I didn't pick up a single item and then suddenly I got like all of them, you know? It should be a quantity picked up versus quantity gained kind of thing that should prove that. But honestly, I don't pay attention that much. I kind of tend to just move right on to the next devastating battle. And freak out. Man, that is just devastation. We're about halfway through the map here. We've already killed 15,000 people, 1,500 people. That is insanity. And Lana, of course, has to make it all the way to the end. Come here, baby. <laughs> Be purged by the power of purple flames. And you know what? I think I will go back and pick up this Triforce piece because I kind of need the magical build top. All right, Lana, let's keep pressing forward, baby. You've got a lot of ground to cover. And precious little time to do it in. But you're probably going to go down the west path, aren't you? Or east path, I guess. You know directions. Actually, she's still stuck in that base. So me getting out in front is kind of helping out a little bit. So long as she can take care of whatever's in front of her. And you know what? I have faith. I have faith in her abilities. She's a very hardy girl, made from half of me, so you know what? I call her a party stop. We'll say. Excellent. Now that is how you destroy a keep from afar, my friend. See, you know what? There are certain characters where if you're facing down a base that has like a barrier of blank, you know, like that barrier of darkness that would do constant damage to me, you know? All you gotta do is get a ranged character, bro. All you do is get a, get, get a ranged attack that does a shit ton of damage, like my big old purple balls. Put them in your mouth. And uh, it actually helps a ton. 
Vana! What the hell are you doing? Why are you all the way back here still? I have clear- Oh, I see. Fine. There. The Stalfos is dead. Are you happy now? It's fucking dead. Can we go? <laughs> My word. Well, excuse me, princess. I didn't realize that I had to kill every single enemy on the map. I thought maybe, just maybe, you could do your goddamn job and kill one of them. Guess I was wrong. And summon the doglings. Bad news is I think they're starting to gather behind me. Ah! Fuck you guys! 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 And now we can make sure that blue covers this entire map. Take down those stinking reds. And summon the dog legs, which don't really do the the damage to that uh, fire lizard that they need to, because the fire lizard can unfortunately just zoom up into the air and do stupid shit like that, and then get caught up in my tornado. Excellent. Another flag lizard is down. Where's Lana? Come here, little one. She's having pathing problems. Out of that, or yep, problems with another mini boss. Don't mind me, just clear the way. Let's go, Lana. It said quickly. We must move quickly. You're not moving quickly. Ooh, interestingly enough, somebody is getting their ass kicked over here on the left side of the map. Who is that? Just it, just the lone blue dot in the ocean of red here on the east side of the map. Who, what brave soul is that that needs my help? Lana arrived at the enemy base. We went ahead and summoned some more fiends. Excellent, so Lana went ahead and dispersed the barrier. Now who is this? Excellent, you stay there my dear. Go ahead and take on the ultimate evil real quick. I'm going to save allies. Who is it? Volga? Is it Volga? It should be Volga, actually. I think he was coming down this way, was he not? And then he re re reappeared on the battlefield. I can't find him. There it is. It is Volga. Hello, my dragony friend. How great to see you. Da, 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 da. We're here to rescue my one and only ally who hasn't actually deserted me. Because everyone else in our group was a total piece of shit. Excellent. Between his dragony fire breath and my huge stomp it out ability, guess what? Everyone dies. Okay, so. Now I guess we can go ahead and escort Volga straight into this little area. Come on, buddy. It's time to take on a base. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Excellent. That actually clears out a lot of people. Especially when they gather around me like that, you know? It does the job. And boosh. Excellent. I think Volga's gonna end up trying to take out all these people. Let's go ahead and see if we can help him winnow things down a little bit. Good. Those moblins will help too. And eventually he may come and rejoin us. Wouldn't that be a treat? To have my what's left of my entire army at the base. Oh, Lana! How are you holding up, darling? Well, good. Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Are you ultimate evil dead yet? Wow, actually, she's holding up a lot better than I kind of figured she would be. Go ahead and lay down some group stunnage, and make sure we're not in the area for that. I recognize that attack. I've used that attack to kill thousands, tens of thousands of dudes. You're not gonna get me today, Ganon. Actually, can we just like juggle him the whole time? Because that would be pretty dope. 
<laughs> okay, okay, so the hilarity is not lost on me that we can in fact summon the very thing that kills him time and time again to murder him for us. Like, being able to summon Dark Links to kill Ganon is probably one of the funniest, most ironic things ever. Come, my Dark Links! Take down your destiny! Oh, yeah, that's gonna be an opportunity. I think I might have gotten off the special in time, too. Excellent! This should be victory right here. Give Ganon that spanking! Make some bacon out of that pig, son! He thought he could come into my house. No. No, the answer was no. He could not. Whose house? See his house! Son, get out of here. Go wallow in your own pit of shame. Recharge your batteries. Team up with the heroes if you have to. Because there's a new ultimate evil around. And she's got a great set of cans. So, uh, yeah. Watch yourself, son. Yeah. You know, Lana, we can't stop. Because we won't stop. Because this pain train has no goddamn brakes until we conquer the entire world. Now, why don't they understand? All I want is for the world to be one, just a unified world under my rule. Why is that so hard? <laughs> Excellent. See, it tries to use her silly little water ball blasts, but they can't stand up to get the army of my darklings. <laughs> I actually wonder if you can get unmasked Sia as a costume because uh, she has a very nice face. I don't know why they cover it up all the time. I guess to give her that weird silhouette that you can see in the uh, Master Quest area. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of basically all of the goddess harps that we have. And now I have to winnow down these things. Um, excuse me. Really, this one's kind of crap. I kind of want to keep... No, that two-star. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Then we got a Ganondorf's gauntlet, a Wizrow's robe, some of that toxic dust that we needed from the Manhandla, and two Goma's acids. Goma's acids come up a lot, I think, in Ganon's little uh, uh, badge area, so that's kind of nice that we got. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. And that's the end. Without changing the difficulty to see if that is in fact the end. That's the end of Sia's addition to the storyline. Hmm. Curious. Curious and curious. But basically from there, the game goes on where Ganon licks his wounds. Uh, basically, Link has a big final battle where he defeats everybody. Ganon goes away and licks his wounds. And then Link comes back to save the day. And Ganon laid his grave. So, I guess we can actually now go on to adventure mode. And take on that master quest. Because I kind of want to... Now that I... No, mm... Um, now that I don't really need the weapons for Sia other than just to go and do the master quest, should we finish up adventure mode? We have made, I, I have off camera made some good progress and as you can see, it's basically a lot of the good stuff that's left. We actually have a new character that can be available for unlock in Agatha and her bug princess powers. And then as you can see, that actually leads down a whole path that gives me Zant and all of these fucking level two and three weapons here, whatever they may be. Um, I actually have access to Link's level three gauntlets over here, which I kind of think we're gonna go ahead and tackle that next. And then there's a level three weapon for, oh my God, it's the level three bangle for fucking, oh my God. I might have to get the level three bangle from Minda because that's a pretty great, she's a pretty great character. 
Like, once you actually kind of get her combo system down. And so, if that is what I think it is... Yeah, that's our level 3 bangle, and that's going to be super duper overpowered. So, yeah. Alright. Let's take a break, ladies and gentlemen. And when we come back, we have our mission in hand. We're going to get a new character, Agatha. We're going to get some new weapons in the... Um, gosh, I guess it may be power gauntlets? I don't know. We have... We have the silver gauntlets already. We have the golden gauntlets already. So what is... What is the level 3 of the gauntlets going to be? We'll find out. And then the level 3 bangle, which I assume... We have the, we have the celestial bangle, the twilight bangle. So what can level 3 of that be? Oh my god, so much to get. So much to get. And it's going to be super difficult too because those are A-rank victories. We'll see if I can do it when we come back. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching this on Twitch.tv slash my name is Tom Lovers. We'll be right back. <laughs> 